good morning children now you know the importance of our nervous system isn't it yes very good our nervous system is classified into two central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system include brain and spinal cord brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system include uh, cranial nerves and spinal nerve which are the parts in the central nervous system brain and brain brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system include cranial nerves and spinal nerves cranial nerves arises from the brain spinal nerves arises from the spinal cord spinal cord from well, these are the spinal nerves and these are the cranial nerves so uh this see this this uh, flow chart showing nervous system it is classified into central and peripheral nervous system central nervous system is again classified into brain spinal cord peripheral nervous system is classified into cranial nerves and spinal nerves so draw this flow chart in your science diary okay then um, do you see uh, uh, our brain yes it is very soft and delicate organ isn't it hence it should be protected so our brain is protected inside a hard covering called skull or cranium so this is our skull so our brain is protected inside the skull okay and uh, extra protection is also there uh, it is covered by three layered membrane called meninges in between these layers there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid or csf and this cerebrospinal fluid is formed from the blood and reabsorbed into the blood then what are the functions of cerebrospinal fluid our cerebrospinal fluid provides nutrients and oxygen to our brain tissue and it regulates the pressure inside the brain it also protects the brain from external shock so these are the functions of cerebrospinal fluid or brain sorry cerebrospinal fluid or csf and the csf csf is seen in between these between the layers of meninges meninges and our brain is very soft and look at the picture of our brain this is our brain so this is the external structure of our brain here uh, this is the this is the largest part of our brain called cerebrum cerebrum is the largest part and we can see number of foldings foldings and fissures in our cerebrum then second largest part is two flaps we can see two flaps in the second largest part that is called cerebellum cerebellum so cerebellum also has uh, grooves and fissures and below the cerebellum we can see another structure called another rod shaped structure called medulla oblongata so which are the external parts in the brain cerebrum cerebellum 
and medulla oblongata. Cerebrum is the largest part. Cerebellum is the second largest part. Medulla oblongata uh, is the rose-shaped structure. Continuation of medulla oblongata is our spinal cord. And when we take the uh, cross section of our brain or internal structure, we can see certain other parts. See the parts in our internal structure or internal structure of brain. We can see cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata. And in the cerebrum, there is one part called thalamus. Thalamus. And below the thalamus, there is another part called hypothalamus. So these are the different parts seen in our brain. So which are the parts in the uh, inner, inner part of the brain? Cerebrum, cerebellum, then medulla oblongata, then thalamus and hypothalamus. Now you know the structure of our brain. So these are about the uh, structure of our brain. You should draw this external structure and the internal structure of brain in your science diary. And you should write how is our brain protected and write what is the function of cerebrospinal fluid. Okay, thank you.